Hey, good to see you. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to install three more tools, Cathedral Asset Optimizer, Rybash, and Z-Edit. All right, let's go ahead and start with uh, Cathedral Asset Optimizer. So let's click the download button. Click on download, click on the files. And the version we want is 5.2.org. So let's go ahead and find that. That's in old files here. The very last file all the way at the end. That's the one we want. Let's manually download that. Download. And close that out. Let's open up our download folder. There it is. Minimize mod organizer. Let's go into our mod folder. Let's take a peek. All right, let's create a new folder. And we're gonna call it Cathedral. Um, asset optimizer, right? Yeah, assets of the miser. Cool. We're gonna drag the contents of this over into that folder. Very good. And we can go ahead and delete this now. And then we're gonna install some uh, pre-made profiles specific to Lexi's guide. So click right here. That's gonna download. Open that up. Open this up. Go into Cathedral Assets Optimizer, locate the Profiles folder, drag the contents of that zip archive on over to the Profiles. All right. And Cathedral Assets Optimizer is run outside of Mod Organizer, so we will not be associating that with Mod Organizer. All right, that's done. All right, right bash. The function of this tool is to manage mods and create bashed patches. Bashed patches merge the level lists from the installed mods and has some limited functionality to merge mods and tweak game values. For this mod, you will only use the bash patch functionality. Okay, all right, let's go and do that. Download it, new files, our files, and we're gonna download the standalone executable. At least that's what I've always done. Yeah. Let's go do that. Already click the download button. Open up your download folder. Just right bash. Open it right bash. It says Mopi. You can drag on Mopi over. And if you're worried, you may not worry. Mopi means right bash. Just rename it. Right bash. There we go. Take a peek. Very good. All right. Let's delete the uh, download fo files. All right. So here's some notes here. Windows 10 users, ensure that your OS has installed the Windows 10 1809 update. Um, I would only concern yourself with this if you don't actively keep Windows updated. So just make sure that your Windows is updated. Also, Windows 10 users, when using RyBash, a docs folder will be generated and appear in your overwrite folder. This is not needed for Skyrim to run properly. It can safely be deleted between sessions. Uh, not something you need to worry about right now. And uh, when we come up to this, I will show you to deal with it or not deal with it as you please. Some additional notes here. Windows 7 users, a docs folder needs to be created in Skyrim Special Edition data. Windows 10 users uh, do not need to follow this step as it will be auto-created. So let's go and do that for you Windows 7 folks. You guys still exist? Yeah, probably, Windows 7 was pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go into our uh, Steam library. If you've been following my guide, you should have a shortcut to your commons folder. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and close our mod folder. Go into your Skyrim special edition folder. Go into data and create a new folder. And we're gonna call it docs. Boom. All right, that's it for Rebesh. Next up, Z-Edit. This tool is similar to S-E-Edit. Not said, I guess. All right, let's go and download it. Hotfix. All right, download the Z-Edit portable zip, Z file right here. Okay, go ahead and open that up. Take a little peekaboo. All right, open up your mod folder. I don't know why I closed it. Boop. Create a new folder, uh, yeah, new folder in your mod folder. Call it Z-Edit. Bury on. So let's open this up. Select everything here and drag it into that new folder. Excellent. Go and close that out. And let's delete that. All right, another short but sweet video for you guys. In the next video, we're gonna dive into script extenders and whatnot. 
So thanks a lot for coming along for the ride, and I'll see you in the next video.